Disclaimer, please excuse my voice. I'm very nasally. I'm still sick. This video is a pre-recorded video and I am actually uh, hosting a giveaway with Kawaii Box and I'll have more information on that at the end of the video. So be sure to check out the entire video and wait till the very end to find out more information about the giveaway uh, slash raffle. Hi everyone, this is a Little Surprise with YT or Amy and today I'm going to show you what's inside this kawaii box. I've received a couple box the past few weeks and in the next coming weeks I'm going to show you what's inside those. Um, I did receive some crafty boxes and those I will be opening in the new year in 2017 because it does require more time for me to really sit down and create something with whatever's inside that box. So I was contacted by kawaii box to show you guys what's inside their a subscription for the month of December I believe and so I'm just going to open this up and let you guys know what's inside and just kind of give you my honest review of it alright so I haven't opened this but um, I have cut it open so let's just take a look at what is inside together and uh, it's really really cool so so far what I see is the box on the lid it says tips for perfect unboxing document share and smile and that's pretty much what we're doing together right now um, and they have a hashtag kawaii box, which I will share later all their information down in the description box So there seems to be a lot of um, Asian sweets in here And so I'm just gonna go by what is on top first. So this seems to be some kind of dessert I'm assuming I'm not completely sure what this is um, But there is a person with something going in the mouth I think this is the karipori candy sticks, but I don't know so I will put that on the side We're gonna use this card and play the game of process of elimination to figure out what everything is in here. Um, next, I see this pencil or pen. This is the cute mechanical pencil and that's really cool because it does look like a regular pencil. It does look like a regular pencil but it's mechanical so that's really cool. And it seems to be from Korea. Upon closer inspection, this does look like the Marukawa gum, Halloween gum. So that I will put to the side. This on the other hand looks like the Kari Pori candy sticks. And it seems to be in uh, soda and whatever that soda is, maybe grape soda, I'm not completely sure. I'm still learning Japanese, have no idea what this says, sorry about that. Um, then there is this Pikachu pouch. It is a coin purse. And it has a little diddle chew tag on the back. Um, so that's really, really cute. Here is a happy food eraser and I got this little scary looking ice cream. Then this is a uh, Disney Pote Pote Bean Plush and I have it in Snow White. And it has a little Pote Pote tag on the back. It's very, very soft. Here I have a squishy Oreo. And I'm a little surprised by this because it's kind of a weird texture. It's not like the regular squishy texture, so I'm gonna open this and take it out. All right, so right off the bat, this does not smell very good. Um, but it does seem like the, those squishy textured, now that's out of the packaging. I thought it was kind of like one of those gummy textures, if you know what I mean. But this is definitely one of those foamy textures. Here is a square animal spray bottle, and I have the monkey one. Um, which is pretty cool because this is the year of the monkey 2016. It is ending. Um, but I don't think I'm going to take it out only because this is, it has like a little hanger up here. So I think it's really nice if you don't want to get it dirty, you can just hang it somewhere for the time being, put it in the bathroom. But I think this is great for like if in the summertime, uh, you know, you're feeling a little hot, you could put some like rose water or some just mint water. I don't even know if there is mint water, but just. Put some liquid in there to keep yourself cool, so that's really cute. Then there is this DIY cross stitch keychain kit, and there is a little witch girl. And there are patterns. I actually do not know how to cross stitch, so this will be interesting. It does teach you how to do it on the back. All the instructions are in Korean, um, but I might be able to figure out how to do this, so wish me luck. At the bottom I have some food themed stickers, so here are some hamburgers and french fries and junk food goodness. So that's really cool. Perfect for packaging. Um, there is some stationery, so here I have a Moomin greeting card, and Moomin is a very popular character in Japan. There is a Moomin cafe in Japan if I remember correctly. So that's really nice. It says at the back, both together do best of all. 
And then at the very bottom, um, it says Japanese sakura envelopes, but I got strawberries. So very cute to write like little cute little letters, especially for like the holidays and Valentine's Day. And at the very bottom of the box is kind of like a advertisement for more kawaii boxes. If you would like a 10% off coupon for your next kawaii box, you can use the code kawaii love and um, it will give you 10% off. Um, but yeah, I kind of like everything that's in here. It's a little bit of everything. There's some food, there's some stationery, um, there's like things that you can use, like this little spray bottle. Um, and there's, like, I think I already said food, but yeah, I think it's really nice that they give you a variety of things, things that you can use, things that you can try once and see if you like it. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys like the Kawaii box, feel free to check out their site. All their links will be down below. I'm putting everything back in the box so that you can see everything together once again. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the uh, in the comments box below, and I will try to get to them as quickly as possible. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Bye. Now I'm going to talk about the giveaway portion. So the giveaway portion is 100% sponsored by Kawaii Box. They are going to choose the winner. They are going to contact the winner. And according to when I visited the website, there's nine days left to enter. But when this video goes up, I think there will be eight days left. Um, so there are several ways to enter. But the first thing you will need is either a Facebook account or an email address. So if you're not comfortable linking up your Facebook account, you can link up your email address. I've tried it. It's totally fine. Um, so like I said, Kawaii Box themselves will choose the winner uh, when the days left goes down to zero and you can actually enter in several different ways so the more methods you choose to enter the more likely you will win there are a total of 13 things you can do to pretty much give yourself 13 ballots or 13 chances to win and i will show you what those options are once you log in with your facebook or email account uh, like i said the days left will be at the top corner but here are the list of 13 things that you can do to enter the giveaway um, you can enter as many times as you'd like uh, with you know your valid email or facebook account um, you should use your real name and you can enter multiple times by subscribing to the youtube channel liking their tumblr instagram twitter page anything like that and you can even enter by liking my social media as well on facebook instagram and youtube so that's about it for the giveaway portion if you have any questions you can contact Kawaii box or leave a comment below